North Korea has conducted six nuclear tests, and there's good reason to believe that they're happy with what they've accomplished to this point. In fact, the statement released by the Korean Central News Agency suggests that North Korea is not ceasing nuclear testing out of an act of altruism, but it's doing so because it feels that it's ha it has the weapons that it thinks it needs in the future to uh, deter the United States and South Korea from uh, a potential invasion or an attack. So I think they're quite happy with their arsenal and say they won't be testing any more nuclear weapons. They're, they're happy with their arsenal, as you, as you quite memorably put it there. But I suppose intercontinental ballistic missiles would go through much, much more testing than this if we look at the history of how countries uh, have developed their nuclear weapons. So this does seem to be uh, quite a premature uh, stopping to the testing, doesn't it? Well, that's right. But we should recall that North Korea has submitted to unilateral moratorium on ballistic missile testing before. In 1999, it did so. And then in 2006, it broke that moratorium. If I were North Korea, I would want to test my ICBMs a little bit more. I think uh, they do need to test these missiles that they've generated um, to um, their full range in the future. But in the meantime, uh, North Korea may calculate that it's better suited to uh, significantly build out its arsenal of launchers and uh, potentially test these missiles of the future. I think verifying this agreement uh, from North Korea will be quite important. As with all these things, the devil really is in the detail. Do you think we should not be getting too carried away? You mentioned the 90s. We all remember Madeleine Albright uh, going to North Korea for Bill Clinton. The great hopes then. Every presidency seems to have a moment of hope with North Korea. Should we keep this in check, do you think, until we actually see some results? Well, I certainly think we shouldn't let the perfect become the enemy of the good here. I think a lot of what North Korea has said today uh, can lead to uh, important agreements. Uh, certainly, their opening on a nuclear test ban, I think, is important. If we can keep the number of nuclear tests in the 21st century to six, all of which have been carried out by North Korea, I think that's an incredibly positive development. But yes, I, there is room here for North Korea to go back on its word. And uh, certainly they see the summit with President Trump as an important reward in itself, which is why I think they're making these concessions up front. They really want to make sure that President Trump has no reason to go back on his interest for a summit and that he shows up to finally meet with Kim Jong-un.